Hi Ronies, this is your pal RoniK95 here. To and today, it's been a while since I haven't done the last VHS DVD comparison. So, welcome to VHS DVD comparison. So today, we're going to be taking a look at my VHS DVD is of the comparison of the S.E. Hinton's classic, The Outsiders. Because I've read the book by S.E. Hinton, because it's a very interesting story, because... No. So, anyway. So, today... We're showing you two DVD compares, com comparisons of The Outsiders. So, today... The Outsiders. Today, on VHS DVD Comparison Series. Here we go. Okay, so this is going to be my new VHS DVD comparison video, you guys, because the last one I did was Honey, I Shrunk the Kids in the previous video that I uploaded on January the 3rd. If you haven't watched my VHS DVD comparison video of Honey, I Shrunk the Kids video that I showed you, I'll probably put the link in the description down below if you want to get to learn more information about it. So, this is going to be a quick one. It's not going to be that long, you guys. And here we got the DVD of Out the Outsiders. I got this at a flea market. This is a flipper disc. Because it says Francis Ford Coppola present on it. And Zotrope Studios before it became American Zotrope. But this is from the... And this, it says, They grew up on the outside of society. They weren't looking for a fight. They were looking to belong. So, Gene Shalit of Chicago Tribune said, A film about teen years that ranks in its lyr own lyrical way with Rebel Without a Cause and American Graffiti. In 1966, Tulsa teenagers came two ways. If you're a sock, you've got money. Car is the future, but if you're a greaser, you're an outsider all, with only your friends a, and a dream that someday you'll finally belong. <clears throat> Francis Ford Coppola's powerful film of S.E. Hinton's classic novel captures uh, <clears throat> how it feels to be caught between childhood's innocence and adulthood's delusion. Meant the ensemble is of who, who's who of a young town of the past two decades. Matt Dillon, Tom Cruise, and Milo Estevez, C. Thomas Howell, Diane Lane, Patrick Swayze, Rob Lowe, and Ralph Macchio from The Karate Kid. Movingly and in an intensely visual style, Coppola has made the street rats and their struggle heroic and unforgettable. This includes the theatrical trailer, subtitles, English and French, main feature only. This, is re this DVD is re ish packaged in 2008 <clears throat> and if you open this up it's on a flipper disc there's one in, there's two different versions on the on the flipper disc wide both widescreen and full screen whoa and the image is like the VHS which I'll show you which I got <laughs> and here is my VHS of the outsiders Got this from a. Check the print date on there. This is a nineteen. I don't. Uh, um, nineteen ninety nine release on VHS, I believe. And I can't because that sticker from Goodwill. Maybe it came out in February the twenty second, nineteen ninety nine. I believe. On the compared to the DVD, the VHS I have here is from Warner Brothers Hits. Here's the label, the top lid on the VHS that says The Outsiders. And here is the spine. And on the back, it's the different critic review from Gene Sh Siskel. <laughs> let, me, let me check. Gene Siskel. No, no, not Gene Shallot. Sorry. 
I mean, it's Gene Siskel. Sorry, I get confused. <laughs> Gene Shallon. It's Gene Siskel. You know, Siskel and Ebert. A film about the teenage years that ranks its own lyrical way with Rebel Without a Cause and American Graffiti. Yep, and it's the same thing on the back, like the VHS. Yep. And I got this tape, VHS, for like $2 a while back at, um... Goodwill store, I believe it was. Here's a spine, and here it is. That $5 sticker on it. Okay, my thoughts here on the DVD and the VHS. They, they're they both the same image. You get, I guess, they basically match. But the DVD doesn't use the box from the VHS, I guess. So that's it could be it for my VHS DVD comparison of the Outsiders, you guys. So thanks for watching. If you haven't watched, so I'm going to give you quick thoughts about the two previous VHS DVD comparisons that I'll put in the link in, put in the link in the description down below. <clears throat> because the last Unicorn DVD comparison one, it's only for like the DVD Blu-ray comparison series, you guys. This is the third video of my VHS and DVD comparison series because um, it's not going to be that long in this video because if you haven't watched the two previous VHS DVD comparison videos from 2016 and this year, like the uh, my VHS DVD comparison of The Iron Giant and Honey I Shrunk the Kids, I'll put these two links in the description down below if you want to watch the rewatch my video. Hope you like to subscribe for content. Be sure to subscribe to Ruroni K95. You can share this video on your Twitter, and you can share this video with your friends on Facebook. On your Facebook, and that's it. So like, subscribe, favorite, comment. So like, subscribe, favorite, comment. Read notifications. Check it out. Check your notifications for content. And that's it. And be sure to subscribe to Ruroni K95. And that's it. So keep it otaku for setting up my anime collection video series and closer at anime DVDs series, you guys. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this VHS DVD comparison video series. If I find another VHS DVD and DVD out there, I'll do another one. Hope to see you soon. Have a good have a good night and sayonara.